Hey French horns, this is the uh, part two video of working on Concert Rondo, our level three French horn solo. So I'm starting at G and I'm gonna go from G, ooh, we'll see how far I go. We'll see how I go. Uh, now, the thing about this section is, this is my favorite personal section of the entire piece. It has lots of character and lots of different things going on. So. G to H, uh, lots of staccatos, some slurs, uh, a lot of 16th notes. So I'm gonna go nice and slow just so you can hear all the different um, partials and, and intervals. Uh, watch out for your E flats versus E naturals. Goes back and forth between those. Here I go. I messed up an E flat there. That's basically the notes, basic rhythms, a lot of just uh, one and a two and a one, and a one E and a two E and a one. So that's kind of a common theme in this whole piece. So now let's do it in time. So I'm gonna go a little faster than I just played it. Bop, uh, bum, bum, ba da dum, ba da da. Ba, ba, be, a, ba, ba, be, a, ba, ba, ba. Here we go. And a one, two, one, two. I'm gonna try that again. Here we go. One, two, one. missing that one E flat. Darn it. All right, that's okay. I'm going to get this time. Now we're going to go slightly faster. Same section. Hopefully I play all the right notes. Bum bum ba da dum ba da da. Da da dia da da dia da da da. And one, two, one. So now the next section, H to I. So we got two main ideas happening in this section. We have the dia, da dia, da dia, da dia, da dia, dia, da da, da da, da the trill. Now here's the deal with the trill. Um, it's technically supposed to be a lip trill, which is really hard to do. I can't do a lip trill. I don't play French horn enough anymore to really be able to do that. So you can do a little trick. The trick is to play a C, and while still holding trigger, you're gonna go back and forth on the third valve. So it sounds like this. And it just gives it that little bit of flair. So what I would do is go back and forth with the D a couple times, then hold the C, and then do the grace notes into the B flat. So it would go like this. to be any more than that uh, and you don't even need to do that you could just play the C and forget about the trill if it's messing you up so I'm gonna go from H and stop on the quarter note after the trill so I'm gonna go D ya da D ya nice and slow one two ready go playing dynamics, which I should be. So in this section at H, dia, da, dia. It's like this kind of sigh. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to try and do that this time. I'm going to go a little faster. And as always, I'm going to draw in the crescendo leading up to that trill because they just wrote crest, which never works for me. Here we go. 
a little faster. Dia, da dia, da dia. And one, two, ready. up a little bit. Let's do it again for me. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And then you want to make sure that that quarter note after the trill is nice and long. Make sure you hold it out. The next part is like my all-time favorite part of this whole solo because you get to play low and then you get to play high and it's like it's very differing you, you got the low notes that are slurred and then you got the the higher mid-range area that's like nice and light so you want to go like this so lots of space between the middle b's like b flats and then it goes on. So that middle section is all like ands. Do da 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 and and and. Oh well, I guess it's <laughs> da 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 one and 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 two. And two and ba da 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 da. So there's a lot of ands, ands, ands going on. Not an, but and. <laughs> All right, let's go from that section. This is uh, the second line after H, or you start with the low B flat to the to the A, mezzo forte. One, two, ready, and a one. tend to when I play this part I always play the lower notes a little bit louder and kind of dig into them and then it gives those upper notes their staccato that lighter feeling here I go you ready get set and one two one let's do it again one two one section. The next section is at I and it's kind of going back to that idea of H. And then it's like finger tie. So we're gonna take this nice and slow from I to the three measure rest. Here we go. One, uh, I'll just go nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Rest. velocity exercise with slightly different fingerings but this is why we practice velocity notice crests so
We're gonna draw in a big crescendo leading throughout those 16th notes. So we should hear a massive crescendo leading to the B flat that is a quarter at the end. So let's just start um, with the 16th note passage and trying to add in that crescendo at the same tempo we just played. One, two, ready, go. All right, one, two, ready, go. big there and make sure that that last quarter note is nice and long like just like after that trill part earlier let's go from i and we're going to go a little faster so d d da da so the d at that that d at that that d at that that d at that that get set one two here comes i I'll work on the next section in the next video. But that's basically the idea. There's a lot happening on this page. Um, let's start playing through the whole page. And if I mess up, I'm gonna keep on going just like you should when you're practicing performance. We're gonna go kind of medium tempo, medium tempo. So not quite what we just ended with. So we'll do the whole page at this tempo. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. And one, two, starting at G1. <laughs> mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes, but have fun with this. It's a really fun little section of the piece. Um, and let me know if you have questions. I think the hardest thing in this is just getting it in your ear. Take it slow. You don't have to play as fast as I just did, but if you can, great. Slower is never a bad thing. <laughs> 